Hey guys, so you know I had to install cubes on this very special laptop slash tablet and I've had a lot of requests for how to install cubes so I want to talk a little bit about that today and this is a special order it's a really nice condition very hard to find as you can see all those sparkles an X220T which is a ThinkPad that is not only a laptop, it's also a tablet. And as you can see, it's really one of a kind. This one is in really great condition. So I'm actually doing this for someone who follows the blog and I'm gonna install cubes for them. So uh, I did wanna talk about that. It's mainly because people have asked about this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now what's cool about this model though, I do wanna talk a little bit about how cool this model is. This is an X220T. Uh, so it's a ThinkPad X220. You can actually use it, the touch screen, if you can see the mouse following my finger here. So I can actually select these and let me lock that resolution. Okay, so I can go through and then I can hit continue. Now, once I do that in the cubes installation, you wanna set your keyboard, English, then we can set the time zone, which is incorrect. The defaults are incorrect. So we'll go ahead and set it to where it's headed. And after that, now one thing with Tor, when you, if you're gonna use Hunix, that comes on cubes as an option, you're gonna to wanna to ensure you have the right time zone. So I'm setting it to their time zone so that when they get it, they hopefully won't have to change the time because Tor depends on correct time and date. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done. Now, Next, what you'll need to do is select where you want to install it to. So in my case, it's going to be these, this SSD. Now that I have selected the right disk, I can go ahead and hit done. Then I'll need to enter the disk encryption passphrase. Now that I have the passphrase in, I'll go ahead and hit save passphrase. And at this point, it then mentions it requires this and that. So of course I'll need to reclaim the space. So what happens there is if the space has been used, so this previously had windows on it, and we're gonna go ahead and hit delete all. So you'll need to uh, reclaim the space if you're filled up and you want to install it and when you hit reclaim space it then takes it and it automatically partitions it for you now we have software selection we're going with cubes with XFCE that's a good option and root password is disabled we will create a user Now that I've typed in the passphrase and they both match, and as you can see, it shows that it is a strong password. So when you type in your passwords, it actually will judge those passwords for you. So when you're installing cubes, you'll wanna go through these steps. And next, it's as easy as beginning the installation, and then we'll be able to add Hunix to it as well. So we'll go ahead and begin the installation. And while it's doing that, let's take another look at this wonderful model, because this is a really cool model. I really love this model. This is the X220T, which is the tablet and laptop. I've core booted it. I've also neutered Intel management engine. So the majority of it is removed to the maximum extent that is possible. The back looks really excellent. The touch screen works. All the USB ports work. So on the side, there's actually a VGA out, which I haven't tested. We also have a wireless kill switch here. So it, for your privacy, you can swap that little switch and it'll kill Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for you. So if you're ever going somewhere and you just wanna kill it, you can go ahead and do that. I still need to get the cover. So as you can see, there's ethernet too, another USB. And this is the placement for the pen. So there's a little magnetic holder here that holds the pen for the touch screen. Now what else is cool about this model is like I said, it's not only a laptop, it's also 
a tablet. So I can actually twist this and all the way around in fact and then you can actually fold it like so. And then we have a really cool handheld tablet. As you can see, really a beautiful, beautiful model in my honest opinion. I really love this one. This one's in really nice condition and it's just a great piece of hardware. And the fact that you can run cubes on it, I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in it. Honestly, I'd love to keep it, but I always like to give the best I can to people. And so I am doing this for someone that also happens to run certain privacy and security services for the public. So I really appreciate that. And so I wanted to do, you know, something special for them. And so this is an X220T model, but this video is mainly about installing cubes, but I figured I'd just show off this really neat model of ThinkPad that you can also neuter Intel management engine. You can also core boot. Um, so make sure to like the video, share it, and subscribe with the bell so you don't miss anything. There's a very small percentage of people that actually subscribe with the bell and a very smaller percentage of people who actually subscribe at all. So most viewers aren't subscribing and you know, the more people that support this, subscribe, like, leave comments, the more time I'm gonna dedicate to this. I'm already dedicating a ton of hours every week to trying to come out with unique content to help inform people about you know, tutorials and events in the world that I think are important to know about. So the installation process is gonna go through all the way. And once it completes that, I'll be able to set up the virtual machines, which is essentially adding the Hunix, which is optional. And it's going to finish that install process, and then we'll take a look at adding Hunix. All right, now that the installation has completed, we'll go ahead and reboot into the system for the very first time. And once we do that, we will be able to then install Hunix. Now I need to unlock the disk since I installed it with disk encryption. And once I do that, I'll be able to add the Hunix virtual machines into our new cubes install. Now that I've entered the passphrase, it's now decrypting our disk and loading up the first cubes boot, which is where I'll end up adding the new Unix virtual machine option. Now that I've done that, I can click on this and I am given a variety of choices here. So as you can see, I've selected Fedora, Debian, and Hunix, which of course I would like to have all of them installed. And we can select which virtual machine we want as our default. So I may want Debian, I may want Fedora. I'll go ahead and leave it at Fedora as a default. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave this all as selected here. And I'm going to go ahead and then hit done. And this is meant to be an easy walkthrough for the Hunix and Cubes installation. So once you've done that, you can go to finish your configuration, ensure that you've selected everything that you're interested in, and it makes it a much easier process to do this at the installation instead of doing it and adding it by hand later. Now it's gonna take some minutes, maybe up to an hour, to add the different virtual machine templates. It could be even longer than an hour. I remember the process was quite a bit long. I've done several cubes installations, so I have done this before, but I wanted to do a quick and easy video walkthrough for you guys since so many people have asked me how to install cubes. Well, I hope this helps you. As you can see on this very excellent laptop tablet, I have installed cubes. So this is cubes and we'll be able to move around. I haven't worked on looking at the touch screen. You know, of course, with cubes, every piece of hardware is isolated to whichever virtual machine you may relegate it to. So, for example, we can go up here and we can pull this menu down and then we can attach different things to different virtual machines. You would simply go up here to use that piece of hardware 
And this is all for security purposes. So pieces of hardware are not available to all the virtual machines. You have to individually take that and attach it to a virtual machine you want to be able to use it on. So if I want to use this install disk and have it accessible on Hunix, uh, I could attach it to the virtual machine. Same with the microphone. I can make that microphone available to the virtual machine. I want to use it inside. So cubes, of course, it's not something that most people are going to use in their day-to-day -day use, but for those who have higher security needs and have concerns about privacy and things along that nature, Cubes can be an excellent choice for you for operating systems. But I'll tell you, in my own personal life, of course I have a Cubes machine. I love Cubes. I think it's an excellent operating system choice. Um, but because of the isolation and various other reasons, it's not my main daily driver. I get work done a lot quicker on other operating systems, but I really have a great appreciation for all the security and privacy enhancements found in Cubes and Hunix as well, along with Tails. Tails is one I recommend to everyone. It's something that anyone can learn to use. So if you want to try something that works on Torifying everything, Hunix is a great option, but so is Tails. So take a look at the one that may work for you. The installation went successful and we have booted up for the very first time. You can follow this exact set of steps. I tried to make it as easy as possible. We didn't go and do too much configuration because I want it to be a video that's approachable to anyone to try their very first Cubes installation. As it's been highly requested and I really wanted to get around to it because my first video I recorded, the quality of the video didn't come out to the level that I wanted to use for the channel. And so I'm happy this one turned out much better and I have a better camera now. So uh, I hope you got something out of this. I really hope it was helpful to you to see someone walk through the installation of Cubes. And I really appreciate everyone who follows this channel. Make sure to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Most people do not subscribe. I think it's, it's well under 1% of viewers subscribe. So go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I'll come out. I'll continue coming out with unique and interesting videos that I think you guys will like. Make sure to follow the blog. It's free to follow at bmc.link slash politictech. And you can follow for free over there. Get more interesting posts by email or you can turn off email notifications. It's completely up to you. And if you want to support this kind of work, go to bmc.link slash politictech and you can find support options there. If you want to buy me a coffee sometime, of course, I'd love that. And if you want to join the monthly supporter membership, I try to share things early and sometimes some inside looks behind the scenes as well as some other tips. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like the video, share it so others can learn how to install cubes for the first time. And I will be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.